The United Kingdom's debt toll from the coronavirus rose by 20% to 4,313 as at April 3. According to the Health Ministry, as of Saturday, April 4, a total of 183,190 people have been tested, of which 41,903 tested positive. In all of this, how are the foreign nationals coping with the stringent restrictions already in place? We are joined from Bristol, England, by a Nigerian resident in Yechi, in Seoul, via Skype. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. How stringent is the lockdown around you? Okay, uh, the lockdown is a countrywide lockdown. So uh, it's the same across the country. And the level of stringent is the fact that um, people are not allowed to leave their houses uh, for, you know, you can only leave your house for essential reasons. Uh, there are, I think, three reasons why you can leave your house. One would be to exercise, so you're allowed to leave your house once a day for exercise. Uh, you can also leave your house if you need to go to the shops to get some medicines or some groceries, uh, but you're advised to do that as, as less frequently as possible. And then the other reason why we are allowed to leave our house, that we could leave our house is if we are, um, you know, the key workers. So the key workers, like the nurses, the doctors, uh, the people that work, Okay, these you know, are information uh, that we are aware of, I guess. So I'll just go ahead yeah. and ask you, what other measures are there in place for foreigners like yourself during this time? Okay, for, for myself and, you know, and anyone that is not of British uh, origin, um, we are all entitled, you know, for people that are already in work, you are entitled to, you know, go as a furloughed staff, um, people you know, are still able to get paid. Uh, people that may be in the work, welfare system, in the benefit system, there has been a boost of the welfare uh, money. So people can get enough to make sure that they cover their bills, um, you know, get all the essentials that they need during this period of time. So, you know, everyone, every segment of the population, is, you know, can assess these funds, uh, whether you're, you know, from this area, whether you're a foreigner, you know, whoever it is, is you know, is open to the whole public. All right, let's talk about... This money. Okay, let's talk about work. I understand um, workers, even though they're in lockdown, are being paid a certain percentage of their salaries. Does this cut across the board or restricted to a certain group? Yes, absolutely. So in terms of getting paid, um, everyone that is in the payroll of, you know, the company that they work for, uh, the government has put a fund towards the uh, company for them to get at least 80% of their salary. So the government can cover up to 80% of their salary. Uh, and that, would, that is up to £2,500. Um, but it, there has been criticism, actually, about this because people that, have, you know, that are self-employed uh, or people that recently joined the new employment that are not yet in the you know, payroll system of that company, they have kind of been left out. So uh, there has been, you know, petitions to the government to revise uh, the rules and look to, you know, make sure that everyone, because I know someone that, you know, joined the company, they haven't actually started work with that company. Uh, so at the moment, they are in between jobs. And because they are not officially in the payroll of that company, they wouldn't be getting, you know, the package that has been promised. So right. these are the people that, you know, have kind of been left out. But I think the government is looking into it and hopefully uh, there will be um, a package for them as well. All right, Yeshi, thank you very much. That's all time. We'll let us uh, accommodate at this time. Thank, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Cheers.